After flailing the gun around and flipping it like in a cowboy movie he put the gun in his mouth, and shot himself. People who work for social media companies that review the community reports. What report that you reviewed that you will never forget about? Facebook and Instagram mod here. Got a video in my rotation. Two little girls sitting out in a grassy area. Don't really remember much but they were definitely between 6 to 10. I don't think they were much older or much younger. I don't remember if you could hear a guy giving them directions on what to do to each other or if it was just very obvious that they were receiving direction. Basically having them do feet stuff to each other, tickling, licking, etc. It was very subtle because I remember having to ask if I could mark it for child porn, we get docked points in our monthly score if we marked content incorrectly. It was obviously CP to me and it was obvious it would lead up to more but guidelines are very black and white and content has to meet very specific criteria. However, this video was trying to be passed off as silly kids just playing with each other. I'd cow to explain it, it was just super creepy. I had one person say they were just being silly but another supervisor sided with me and told her it was very obviously child porn. I ended up escalating the video for child porn. I don't know what happens after that since I think it goes to a company that deals with this content. Nothing explicitly happened in the video but it was just so disturbing and made me wonder what situation these girls were in. Other than that, it was mostly people getting chopped up by cartels, prostitutes, guys getting fisted elbow deep, a guy chopping up his own penis, surgeons removing a giant dildo out of a guy's butt, people being dismembered after a car crash, guys killing each other, heads chopped off, more prostitutes, drugs, people trying to sell or buy exotic animals, more porn, girls calling each other whores, people torturing and or killing animals. I worked in the Latin American market. I hear it was much more dull on the North American side of the office across the hall. None of that stuff phased me except for when children or animals were involved. Or when a video went viral of a Colombian woman taking her son and jumping off a bridge with him in a murder-suicide. I couldn't stand to look at that one either. Not sure if it counts, but I was a mod for a subreddit related to true crime. We got a report about a guy asking really off questions. He was basically asking hypotheticals about what kinds of clues detectives would look for if his wife was murdered. He was saying that she ran on a trail that was dangerous, and if something happened to her, he would want to help with the investigation. Someone told him it seemed like he was planning to murder his wife and was soliciting advice to help cover his tracks. As soon as they said that he deleted all of his posts and accounts. We sent the reports up the chain, and I believe the super admins may have contacted the police. I never heard any follow-ups, so I'm not sure if it was a bad joke or what. It was really unsettling though. I worked for an electric company as a secretary, somebody called my office, as the number to the offices on all of our company trucks, to report that one of our drivers was stopped at a park. He was playing a full-on pickup game of basketball during his work shift. I never said anything to anyone, I like that guy. I've worked for many YouTube channels. The blacklists last for miles. Racial slurs everywhere, creepy stuff about literally any female on screen. Never underestimate how moderated a large channel's comments are. Sometimes it's someone's whole day. One thing that stuck in my brain was one account that was just like pure vitriol. You guys are a disgrace you don't deserve to live kill yourselves and the like. Nothing particularly specific, but just hateful. So before banning this account from commenting I decide to click on it. It's a girl, had to be like 13 to 14, and severely mentally disabled. I couldn't stop thinking about what this girl had been through to make her so angry and that she could only express it online. I'll never forget that man, how many other awful YouTube commenters are just bullied or even abused kids with nowhere else to lash out. Edit, ok so a couple people have been like, oh how do I get that job and trust me, that's by far the worst job I've ever had. For me it was part of being a personal assistant, I literally buttered a bagel for him. And drove around picking up lunch orders and getting yelled at when it came back cold cause they sent me to some craft brewery a half hour away. 
If you want entry level employment go ahead on entertainmentcareers.com or whatever but trust me when I say you probably want to go a different direction. I worked for a company where a user told his friend in chat he was going to kill himself by jumping from a bridge in the UK. The player reported this to police and police contacted us for an IP address to go stop him. The next few days I checked his activity in chat logs and he was inactive. And then a few days later he was active again. Such a relief but I couldn't sleep well those few nights worried. Oh wow, a thread tailor made for me. I spent the last two years working in content moderation and I'd say I handle it well, though my short term memory is really bad now and I'm led to believe that is a symptom of PTSD, but I'm not gonna get into that. Anyway. To answer your question I'd say the jobs that stuck with me the most were ones that showed animal torture, and then stayed on the animal. For instance, there is one video out there of this lady just casually chopping the leg of this dog off and tossing it into a stew or something. But the video stays focused on this poor dog trying to come to grips with the fact it's missing its leg, trying to step on it but it can't, then it just kinda lays down and cries, licking at the wound. That one is rough. The other one that comes to mind was a video of this guy being dismembered, limb by limb. Once his last leg was taken off they proceeded to beat his skull in with his own severed leg. He stopped wailing after a while but he was whimpering throughout the whole thing. Those two stuck out to me but there was a deluge of content of all varieties, memes and jokes, and videos of all kinds day after day. I'd say 90% of the day you wouldn't see anything worse than you would scrolling the front page of Reddit. But every once in a while something happens in the world and every single person seems to have to be the one to put it up again, and again. Like the Christchurch shooting, I watched that video probably a hundred times. I've seen it to doom music, I've seen it with no Russian, I've seen it with a laugh track, I've seen it with a victory royale slapped on it. I've seen it all and know you aren't creative for putting it up there. Edit, just to answer some really common questions. Can't mention who I work for due to NDA, but I'm sure you can guess. We had to watch the first 15 seconds no matter what, however certain videos we would be told to continue watching for up to 10 minutes. People can, and do just dip out if they already know what the video is because it was trending. For instance, Christ Church, after a while we would see his face, the church, the manifesto, etc and it was just an instant delete. We do not forward to law enforcement unless it was live video or child pornography. Pay is actually really good, more than double the state minimum with differentials based on when your shift is. We aren't being paid scraps for this. When I was a bus driver, a passenger told me as they exited that another passenger was masturbating in the back. In addition to the alleged masturbator having severe autism, I didn't get paid enough to deal with that, so I hit a speed bump at 30 miles per hour and the problem solved itself. I was a mod on a page 13 forum 15 years ago or so. People would leave the site by porn siding I had heard about hentai, but had never seen it. There were tentacles in places I'm sure they shouldn't have been. Except it wasn't anime drawn. Photoshopped. God I hope to hell it was photoshopped. Not a mod, but I when I was like 17, 18, a dude shot himself in a group video chat for no reason and I was contacted by that dude's city's police department a couple days later. To this day I have no idea how they got my cell phone number or email address, there was no two-step verification in that website, there wasn't even forced signing up, you could just pick a random username and join a chat room without making any account. I was in tiny chat, it was a website where people could make video chat rooms with up to 10 people streaming at a time, you could also have one one private video chats, and it also had a chat box where hundreds of people could join. Anyways, I was in one of the more popular rooms one night, and for the first time ever I got to be in the streaming feed, spaces were usually always occupied ick, and that night there was this dude, couldn't have been older than 20. He was tripping balls on Sherm, marijuana laced with PCP, and he was talking about how his father beat him up, and kicked him out of the house for sleeping with his stepsister, that he says he was in love with before their parents married. 
What was weird is that this dude was first laughing about it, and then out of nowhere when we were talking about something else. I think it was making fun of Ludacris for dropping 16 on Justin Bieber's baby he started screaming and crying and we were like bruh wtf you could mute the sound of anybody so that you wouldn't hear it yourself. So we agreed to all mute his sound but leave his video because it was interesting seeing the dude go ape with no sound. After like 10 minutes he caught on to the fact that we muted him, and wrote on a piece of paper watch this and he showed us a gun. I remember a girl was juggling some tennis balls too, but I digress. After flailing the gun around and flipping it like in a cowboy movie he put the gun in his mouth, and shot himself. By then I had unmuted him so I got to hear the shot, then he disappeared from the frame and you could only see his chair when he fell from the shot. I swear to god I could slightly hear him gurgling on his blood until he wasn't doing it anymore, which I assume meant he was dead. Somebody from the room reported the chat room to the admins and they ended the stream and deleted the room a few minutes later. Then I got a call from the police in some town in Michigan asking if I had been in the video chat when this dude killed himself. They said we know, the company sent us a video we just want you to tell us what happened, and I did, then they thanked me for my cooperation and never contacted me again. Like and subscribe. For more r slash ask reddit videos.